Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about uh, how to configure uh, split tunneling using uh, flux config. So what is flux config? Flux config is something a unique feature that has been introduced or available for FTD devices that are managed by FMC. So by using flux config policies, it allows you to configure a device commands that are not otherwise supported by the security manager. So during a VPN configuration group policy uh, uh, inputs, you might need to uh, include, exclude VPNs, include VPNs. So what does it mean? Uh, within uh, dynamic uh, split tunneling, you have a type called dynamic split tunneling with the exclude domains, dynamic uh, VPN with the include domains. So these options cannot be configured directly by using the security manager or FDM or even directly by the FMC. So in that scenario, flux config method or flux config policies will be used to push those configuration as a supported methodology. It is kind of a flux config object you will create and you will input that object within the group policy where you wanted to uh, point out. So le let's a little bit understand what are the two types of uh, split tunneling we have. I said uh, split tunneling uh, dynamic split tunneling with the include domains and the dynamic split tunneling with the exclude domains. Include domains, it means whatever the domains that you have wanted to traverse through the tunnel and reaches your corporate network, that's called include uh, dynamic split tunneling. Exclude dynamic split tunneling is uh, other way around, whether you, you don't want that network traffic or that domain traffic to traverse through your corporate network. In that case, the traffic will be uh, processed by the uh, AnyConnect local adapter by using the local internet and it will directly reach the, the destination if it is available on the internet. In this scenario or in this video, we're going to learn about uh, dynamic split tunneling for include domains using flux config. Okay, let's get into these steps now. Okay, forgot to tell you about the steps uh, initially. So before we jump onto the configuration part, let's read about the release notes or configuration guide that Cisco talks about. So this release note was released by April 2, 2020. And this talks about many things and we are going to learn about dynamic split tunneling using flux config. Before you begin the configuration that you are going to configure, minimum requires any connect 4.5 so below uh, the any connect 4.5 version it does not support it so anything above or equivalent to uh, 4.5 version only be supported so procedure one step one you need to create the object for the flux config so either you can create the flux config object within the object management by following this uh, or navigating these uh, steps or uh, you can uh, directly go to the flux config and create the flux config object. So here, what you need to do in the step one, you need to create the flux object first. Uh, here we are going to see for dynamic split tunneling. Uh, you just need to uh, name it as enable dynamic split tunneling and uh, uh, you have to insert, select insert, deploy method once append and you have to uh, provide a web vpn because uh, within the web vpn uh, advanced configuration only we are going to push this uh, configuration under web vpn you need to input any connect custom attribute dynamic split here it talks about exclude but sorry in the steps video i'm going to explain only for include domains so it's just a word change uh, but do not uh, include any uh, capital characters just follow what the document talks about here i will make sure to provide this link in the description below uh, please make use of this so step one we have created the flux uh, object for uh, the vpns then create a second object as group policy this is the group policy where you wanted to apply these attributes 
create a, another flux config object as add dynamic split tunnel for which uh, group policy in this case they are talking about sales okay just name it as uh, what you want for your infrastructure so input group policy and the group policy name whatever you want wherever you wanted to input this uh, flux config and space attributes and then uh, input this command any connect custom dynamic split hyphen include domains value and the value name whatever you have given for those domains in the above step so here if you come back you have given the name for these domains as exclude domains it could be either uh, exclude these domains uh, only exclude these domains this is just a variable so this variable need to be called in the next flux config object so i i will just recap in the first step you created the flux config within the flux config input at the number of domains you wanted to include or exclude and then on the second uh, flux config object you appending or including that uh, uh, domains into the group policy so then in the step three you will just apply that group policy whether if you wanted to apply this for a default group policy you can still apply it but uh, if this is purely based Based on your infrastructure if you don't have anything specifically used for a default group policy don't need to know, do that but step one and step two is must need to be followed then in the last step you just need to order the for flex config objects what you have created first one you need to include the uh, uh, domains that you have created for a in a separate flux config object and then the group policy where you are appending this uh, flux config object okay so these are this is the simplest step that you need to follow let's now get into uh, the configuration okay once you are in the fmc you just need to click a device and then flux config once you're uh, on the flux config click on the flux config object so this is where you will be creating that parameters that i just said since i have already created that uh, flux config object uh, i'm just going to open that and uh, going to explain that for you first one it talks about uh, the name that i have given for that flux config object and the command sets that you need to follow again i will make sure to provide this uh, cisco link uh, for you to get use of uh, the command for your uh, own purpose and then the list of domains i have included that's it and then uh, in the next step if you remember correctly i have to include the include this into the specific group policy so this is the group policy name that i'm going to apply this uh, dynamic split tunneling uh, include domains i have included and this is the uh, domain name that i have called out in the earlier step and then once you have created these two objects like i mentioned aligning the steps sequence is must uh, here i have already aligned it uh, as per here and then save your config if you click preview it will try to pass your uh, per configuration now uh, whatever you have done uh, and it will show the command it is going to push out to the ftd device uh, if you have inputted any wrong parameters in it uh, preview flux config will show that error for you to fix it uh, uh, for the later to uh, push it to the uh, device so here uh, since i have already pushed it i'm, I'm just uh, showcasing uh, the preview configuration as it does not has any issues or uh, passing errors so once you are done with this you just need to uh, click deploy and deploy the configuration to your device okay so this is the simplest step you need to follow one more key thing you need to remember here anything that you wanted to add newly into the uh, include domain list or exclude domain list what you would do uh, in the asa format you will unselect the domain list from the group policy and add the new domain into the uh, include domain list and then you will bind it back to the group policy in the similar manner in the practical environment what will happen all these configuration will be always been utilized by the uh, group policy and uh, the group policy is in turn effectively used by the users and to avoid any issues or um, uh, the parsing errors sometimes what will happen the fmc will try to remove the existing domains from their list when you push uh, with the new updates so in order to avoid that cisco has recommended as a precautionary step uh, which is something you just need to uh, hear and uh, make sure so i have configured that but i i did not include it here uh, why because this step you just need to follow only the time when you wanted to include any new domains in into the into the flux config object so this is something like 
group policy whatever the group policy name that you wanted to uh, apply this and uh, remove that uh, include or exclude domains and remove that custom data that you have created and unbind from the web vpn why so this is something uh, making sure that removing everything whatever is there from the device and the next step you have to move this all the way top and then the next step will make sure to apply with a new uh, newly added uh, domain and then it will apply to the respective uh, uh, group policy this is 100 percent useful and 100 percent needed when you wanted to update any new domains into the existing flex config object okay friends i think uh, this video must be useful for you please don't hesitate to provide your comments i'll be happy to answer for your, your questions if you do have anything thank you so much We'll catch up in the next video.